Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to Friday's Maths lesson. So what I'd like you to do to start with is pause the video and have a go at working out what the two missing numbers would be. Right, so the first example is 49 is 10 less than 59. So next one, 33 is 10 less than 43. And this one over here, we have 0 is 10 less than 10. Today's maths is our last bit on the column multiplication method. You've done really well because it is a brand new method you picked up brilliantly. It is one though that's worth keep practicing. So if you get a spare few minutes at home, keep practicing, get some questions for column addition, multiplication and subtraction. So practicing those three methods. All right, I'm going to full screen. So my little bubble in the corner is going to disappear. Okay. Pause the video and have a go at these three sets of questions. They're all based on learning we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Come back and press play when you're ready for the answers. Right, so this first set is all about related number facts, which is what we were doing on Monday. So we have four times three, three, six, nine, 12. And that gives us the answer of 12 there. So I'm gonna use that to help me solve four times 30. So we've got 30. 60, 90, 120. Next one, write a multiplication expression to match each addition. It's just a fancy way of saying write the multiplication question that links with it. So we've got 12 add 12 add 12, and that could be written in multiplication to give the same answer as 3 times 12 and 12 times 3. 15 add 15 add 15 add 15. As a multiplication, we could use it as 4 times 15 or 15 times 4. And then 26 add 26. We could have it as 2 times 26 or 26 times 2. And then the last one, we're going to multiply each number by 2. If you want to do it using column multiplication, that is absolutely fine. Or try and do it in your head. So 13 multiplied by 2 is 26. 23 multiplied by 2. Is 46. 33 multiplied by 2 gives us 66 and 43 multiplied by 2 gives us 86. Well done if you got those right. We're back with the rolls again. So each shelf has 24 rolls. How many rolls are there in total? So if you want to pause and do it as column multiplication you can. We're going to go through partitioning it to start with. So there are one, two, three, four rows or, of shelves, okay? So 24 in each. So our question is four times 22, 24. Um, so I'm going to partition it, right? So 20 and four. So four times 20 I know is 80. Four times four I know is 16. And then I can add those two totals together. So it gives me a total of 96 rolls. Let's have a look at that as a column multiplication. So I've got my representation over here. So we've got 24, 24, 24, and 24. And adding up the ones together, once I get to 10, I'm going to exchange those 10 for one 10. So I've got 10 ones in this blue box, and I'm swapping them or exchanging them for one 10 in the tens column. So on column multiplication, we would show that as four times four, 16 so I put the 6 into here and those 10 extras that we can't fit I'm exchanging into the tens column and then I'm going to do 4 times 2 okay working diagonally across which is 8 but hopefully you all know by now I have to add this one underneath as well so it is 96. Using that knowledge give this a go 25 times 3 if you want to use the representation to help you, that's fine. But I'd like you to give it a go of column multiplication as well. Pause and come back when you're ready. Right, we have five times three, so five, 10, 15. So I'm gonna just put my five in the ones column and exchange that extra 10, those 10, for one 10 into the next column. Three times two, so three, six. But I also know I must add this one. So it comes 25 times 3 is 75. Okay, have a go at this question. We've got 5 
times 32 and what's the answer? If you want to say it's column method, that's fine, but also have a go at partitioning it into those two separate questions. Okay, so we've got 5 times 30, it's 150. Okay, again, you can use your related facts. You know that 5 times 3 is 15, so 5 times 30 is 150. 5 times 2 gives us 10. Add those two totals together, we get 160. Okay, some problem solving. This one is quite challenging. So I placed three digit cards into the calculation below. My total was a multiple of 10. So we've got the three digit cards, which is 5, 8 and 3. And a multiple of 10 means that the answer has to be in the 10 times table. So we know that numbers ending in zero are in the 10 times table. Have a go. How could Mo arrange the cards? And is there more than one way of doing it? So pause, give it a go, and then come back when you're ready for the answer. Right, okay, so you could have had 38 times five, and that would give you 190. So well done if you found that one. Extra points if you found another way as well. All right, grab your pencil and your paper and give this one a go, 39 times three. Okay, come back once you've done it and we'll go through together. So nine times three, we can do our nine times tables. So we've got nine, 18, 27. My seven goes into the ones column and I exchange the two tens into the next column. I've then got three times three. So we're counting in three, so three, six, nine. But I've got to add the two as well. So nine add two gives me 11. So I have to exchange again. So I'm gonna put one, one in there, and one over in the other column, all right? So now I need to add that third column, the hundreds column, which gives me a total of 117. Right, give this one a go, 54 times seven. Remember, you might have to exchange more than once, set it out carefully, and your answer may well go into hundreds. Okay, so we have four times seven, so we've got seven, 14, 21, 28. So I'm gonna put the eight into the ones column, and the two tens in the tens column. I then have seven times five. So you can do this as your five times table or your seven, whichever you're more confident in. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. But what do I have to do? So 35 add two, so it adds on. So I've now got 37, all right? Then I need to add this end column. So I've got Nothing in this hundreds column up here, but I do have the three below, so I do need to add that into my answer. So 54 multiplied by seven gives me 378. Okay, give this question a go. 62 times eight. Come back once you've done it. All right, so we have two times eight. It gives us 16, so the six goes in the ones column. Our 10 goes over. Then, ooh, I'm jumping ahead, sorry. Eight times six, okay, which we have already done is 48, but I have to add that extra one. So 49, okay, so the nine goes into the column I'm adding, and I exchange the extras into the next column. So now I need to add in my hundreds. I've got nothing here, nothing in this one, but I do have the four below. So eight times 62 equals 496. Okay, what I would like you to do today is give the questions a go. Um, it's a document on there that you can edit and I will look forward to seeing how you're getting on. Good luck. Bye.